Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Wind Chaser. Um, we're playing around with the version 2 of um, our pickup header here. Um, I have some uh, different animations uh, using uh, uh, animation LUA. Um, to add a little bit more um, uh, function to the uh, merger itself so I've seen a few reviews some some people knew what they were talking about some people uh, uh, not so much um, basically it is the same thing as a, uh, a rake the in-game rake um, it's not as wide as the biggest one it's a uh, working width of 10 meters from left to right um, but it has a, uh, a discharge on either side of um, a meter um, so it actually technically if you were to merge the right side and the left side of the windrow it's um, actually 22 uh, a combined 22 meter working width that's it it's kind of you're putting 22 meters worth of material into one windrow versus the big crone the biggest uh, windrow in game uh, it's actual working width is wider it's 18 meters but um, it's only combining 18 meters worth of windrow. So this, although it's smaller um, overall width size, it's only 10 meters and not 18, it actually uh, makes uh, larger windrows. Um, and, uh, you know, some people are saying it's third cut, fourth cut. No, this is definitely used for first, second, third, fourth cut. It is uh, built for um, high-speed uh, merging. It's built for uh, moving a lot of product quickly um, and efficiently. It's built um, to basically for the farmers that need to chop a lot of haylage for you know big big uh, uh, dairy operations or feeding a lot of cows. Um, basically, what this is instead of going out mowing and raking, um, you know, a few days ahead of your choppers. Um, you can actually give yourself a 10 minute head start in front of the chopper and this will actually keep pace um, in front of a, 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 a basically a Jaguar or anything that you have. Um, basically it's designed to merge a lot of material very quickly to uh, be less exposed to inclement weather. Uh, weather um, gives you a little bit more control over your uh, forge operation. So. Um, I just uh, added a little bit of new features in here um, using the animation LUA file. I'm still kind of messing around with my um, uh, LUA to have the belts scroll inversely uh, when I change the side discharge. So first thing you'll notice is this is discharging on the... Well, first thing you should know is I'm on my dedicated server because I people were saying that it was skipping leaving skips in multiplayer so I've been te in single player it works absolutely flawless so um, I'm just over here um, uh, playing on my server game and then you'll see all the information I added in the uh, uh, F1 panel so Keypad 9 brings up. Um, well, that should actually be. Uh, change the numbers. So 7 should be. So let's just actually be backwards. And then 8 um, raises. Um, so, like, if you were to use the default, so I'll just press uh, V to raise and lower. You'll see that with the middle animation that it only lifts the middle one up ever so slightly. Um, but if you were to press 8, you can uh, bring it up all the way a little bit more. So the animations, they all work the same, but you can do all three separately as well. You can lift up with your 8 key. That way it will truly avoid picking up any additional uh, material so and I think it only skips when you're taking corners so so far it seems to be working pretty well um, 
It has uh, individual flexing pickup headers. Um, I noticed that it slides a little bit when you lift up the wings. I'm not really sure why. I think it has something to do with the steering of the trailer. So, so far, so good. I actually tested on the map because people are saying it was um, losing yield. And um, basically the only way I found that if you do this, if you use lose yield, is if you merge it all into one big massive windrow. And I tried it with the in-game chrome and I got the same result. So basically it's only built to, you know, you're only supposed to be merging um, so much material into a windrow until you actually lose it. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit my other buttons here. I'm using 4, 5, 6, and 6 turns on that auxiliary light, so just press your F key. I'm just trying to make it as simple as possible. So now we're discharging, but now we're getting this pickup issue, so... But it's weird, if I, like, pick up one leg, it stops. Now if I lower this arm, so there's still a little bit of bugs that need to be worked out. So it skips on one direction, but it doesn't skip on the other. I'm not really sure why. But now if I go on this other side, and it's only it's only in multiplayer, I realized. So um, it doesn't happen in single player, just in multiplayer. And it only happens when you change one side. And then it goes away if you lift up one of the arms. So. You can see it just building up those windrows now. basically doubling the height. So there's still a little bit of that needs to be adjusted, I think. Um, just because I don't want it leaving those skips. Um, um, when I was on, when I, when I host, uh, when I host the game, and it's not on the dedicated server. Um, I I don't really see the skips at all. It's only when you're kind of like the non-hosting player that you see it. So, but now that I'm on a dedicated server, I can see pretty much what um, everyone else uh, was seeing. So.
then we'll go ahead and change directions again. And now it's skipping. It's that left, left pickup that's causing an issue. directions again Let's see how it does so it doesn't seem to be doing too bad anymore with skipping This is what was skipped before. So then if I go ahead and switch GPS here, change it to, so it's going to default at 11.2 um, just because it's going to compensate, um, it's going to automatically put in that discharge based on the working width, so. And then once you get your your line pretty much set up and stuff, you you don't really need to switch your swath side at all. Except maybe here you can do like um, bump it over, and then once you get over here, you can do six, seven, five, uh, four, five, six. And then bump it over to the right. You know that way, it, you know it's nice and clean. You don't have to have long, extended windrows. And then I think my my uh, my cutter area uh, is a little bit. I have it at 0.65. I think it needs to be around like four. That's why it keeps picking up these extra so this is how it's designed it's designed to merge one side of the windrow and then come back and merge the other side so you can see the windrows are roughly 22 point uh, 2.4 feet or something like that and then we'll do four five six again that way we'll be kicking out on the left side instead of the right and then we'll switch it back 